let's see if we can figure out this Laplace inverse problem. It looks pretty nasty. And you'll notice that we usually want to see if we can factor the denominator. I don't think the denominator is going to factor for us. We probably can factor the numerator. In fact, I can just pull out a 2 since the greatest common factor of the numerator is 2. But the denominator, ah, I don't know. What we can do is complete the square. So that's what we'll do. I'll remind you how to complete the square. We take half of the b term b being 4 in this case, half of it is 2, and we square it, right, we're completing the square, so we square to get 4, and we add and subtract 4 in the bottom. Essentially we're adding by 0. So I do it in a particular way. I do right in here, I do plus 4 minus 4. I insert it in between the second and third terms. And that's because when I group like this, this factors into a perfect square. This is s plus 2 times s plus 2, or s plus 2 quantity squared. So I rewrite that, and minus 4 plus 29 gives us the 25, and this is starting to look a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor that 2 all the way out front, this 2 because Laplace transforms are linear. They're really integrals, so I can pull constants out of integrals. Now you might think, hmm, what is this s plus 2 over s plus 2? How does that affect Laplace transforms? Usually you just have s. Well, if you look on a table of Laplace transforms, you'll know that when we have s minus a, in this case a being negative 2, this is really the same thing as e to the at, here a is negative 2 times the Laplace of the other thing. So in this case, we just shift by that 2. And if you like, if it helps, you can write 25 as 5 squared. Because if you write it like this, this is something you would see almost exactly on a table of Laplace transforms. You'll notice that the transform of cosine of bt is s over s squared plus b squared. So this is exactly the transform of cosine of 5t. The 5 gets squared and put there, and transforming cosine gives us the s over s squared plus 25. This would be the answer to this problem. We had to complete the square and think about a couple of things, a couple of properties of Laplace transforms. I hope you got something out of it. If you need to, please rewatch and rewind, and I hope you have a great day.